Punda Maria Rest Camp, the hidden gem of the far northern Kruger National Park. Brought to you by the book series, Rest Camps of the Kruger Park. In support of Kruger Kids, giving orphan kids the gift of a Kruger Safari. Hello, my name is Maria Smook. I've been a regular visitor to the Kruger Park since way back in the 1960s. In this video I'm going to share with you why Punda Maria is one of my top favorite rest camps. As a thank you to you for watching, please see later in this video how to download your free volume from my book series Rest Camps of the Kruger Park. So now without further ado, let's get started. Close to the Zimbabwean and Mozambique borders lies Punda Maria, the northernmost main camp of the Kruger Park. Only 8 kilometers from an entrance gate, this camp is also a popular first stop to travelers from afar or a last night in the park destination for those departing early the next day. One of the oldest camps, dating back to the 1930s, Punda Maria emanates an atmosphere of days gone by, when the area was frequented by ivory smugglers, hunters, poachers and crooks. Located on a rocky outcrop, Punda Maria has earned a reputation of being like a botanical garden because of its unique diversity of plants in the surrounding area. Of medium size and unique compared to other camps, Punda Maria offers 30 accommodation units consisting of 6 safari tents, 22 bungalows and 2 family cottages, plus a campsite for tents and caravans. Visitors love Punda Maria because of its remoteness and because it is not as busy as many of the other camps. The spread out and shaded atmosphere usually provides an empty feeling, as does the rest of the camp even during the tourist seasons. Old attached bungalows with whitewashed original lattice and mud walls and thatched roofs greet arriving visitors. Four buildings are arranged in two rows on raised terraces, each with its own shared veranda. Eighteen two-sleeper units include a toilet, shower, wash basin, cupboard and fridge, while four three-sleepers also include kitchenettes. All units are air-conditioned and serviced daily. The nostalgic restaurant with its outdoor eating area are next to the bungalows, as well as a communal braai area, providing a wonderful opportunity to meet new friends and share stories at the end of a day's game driving. There is a communal kitchen with hot plates and a scullery with hot and cold running water. Also close to the restaurant and shop, and with views across the caravan park and beyond, Punda Maria offers two semi-secluded, six-sleeper family cottages. Both have three bedrooms, a lounge, kitchen, outdoor patio and braai area, and a fully equipped kitchen with a stove and fridge plus cooking and eating utensils. The seven fully furnished safari tents at Punda Maria are spectacular. Located at the west end of the camp, Standing on wooden stilted platforms and connected by wooden decks, they are elevated and secluded from view. Each tent offers a different outlook over the fence and the hills in the distance. Equipped with kitchenettes, showers and toilets, and cleaned and serviced daily with fresh linen, towels and soap, these safari tents are perfect for self-catering bush lovers. Punda Maria has a beautiful campsite that offers 50 non-demarcated caravan and camping stands. Campers choose from stands that are with or without power or shade on a first-come, first-served basis, or perimeter stands with easy access to the bird hide. There are two communal ablution buildings and three communal kitchens with hot plates, electric plugs, wash basins and hot and cold running water. Punda Maria offers a number of activities and services such as game drives on specially equipped vehicles. For the more adventurous wanting to see the game close up, there is the opportunity to take an armed field guide accompanied walk outside the camp. Guests can also self-drive the Mahoney Loop, a 25 km game drive which circles the camp and is famous for its unique diversity of botanical tree species. A beautiful rock-style pool is available for overnight guests to cool off in and it also includes a paddling pool for small children, as well as plenty of lawn for them to play on and shade trees for the parents to relax under. For reasonably fit and able guests, 
Punda Maria offers the in-camp Paradise Flycatcher Trail, which winds through the upper hillside part of the camp, which has been left wild. Keeping a sharp eye out for snakes along the way, when reaching at the top of the climb, there is a bench to sit on. This offers a good opportunity to spot baboons on the rocky outcrops above, and maybe a leopard doing the same thing. Besides the trail, Punda Maria has a lot of opportunities for walkers. The main part of the camp is on the side of a hill, with a large campsite below. The road that connects the two and those in the campsite provide ample opportunity for extensive walking. With an abundance of bird life, interesting plants and trees, views of the surrounding bushveld and distant hills to admire, a one to two hour walk on the trail and then exploring the rest of Punda Maria is definitely well worth it. For plant and tree enthusiasts, of note is Punda Maria Camp's landscaping, which features plants that reflect the need to conserve water, as well as the young baobab tree specimen that stands in front of the restaurant, accompanied by a beautiful strangler fig that has attached itself to the side of the building. Many of the trees in the camp have been name tagged for easy identification. Punda Maria is a birder's paradise, with numerous bird species that visit and have made the camp their home as have many small animals that you might encounter while walking in the camp at night. These include gennets, mongooses, and a variety of owl species. Also offered by Punda Maria is a well-maintained bird hide, which is fitted with informative wildlife identification charts, and has close-up views of the waterhole, which attracts many animals and their predators. Game viewing from the bird hide is also possible at night, because the waterhole area is floodlit. There is no museum at Punda Maria, however parts of the camp are practically a museum, as the main buildings and the bungalows were built in the 1930s, making them some of the oldest structures in the park. A small restaurant adjoins the shop and reception office. Dining in the oldest restaurant in the park is indeed a special experience. There are only seven tables inside the air-conditioned area, and eight tables in the outdoor patio of this historic and quaint restaurant, which serves a legendary chicken and livers and bacon breakfast, which definitely should not be missed. The Punda Maria shop is small but well stocked with the essentials to make a visitor's stay comfortable and enjoyable. Included are souvenirs, books, camping and cooking accessories, firewood, snacks, clothing and camera accessories, plus drinks, ice creams and packaged foods and takeaway foods can be ordered from the restaurant. Punda Maria Camp has a separate picnic and environmental education area for day visitors. It is located next to the park gate, which is 8 kilometers from the camp. Visitors and educational groups can learn about the rich cultural and natural heritage of Punda Maria. Shaded picnic tables and bry sites are set up for picnickers and squirtles are available to rent. With all these features, amenities, sites, beautiful accommodations and activities, it's no wonder that Punda Maria remains one of the most popular camps in the far northern park. For more information about Punda Maria Camp, consider visiting restcampsofthekrugerpark.com and ordering your print or ebook copy of the volume titled The Far North Four, which describes Mopani, Tsenze, Shingwetsi and Punda Maria Camps. Just like the other four volumes, it includes information about camp activities, amenities and services, in-camp animals, birds and trees, as well as detailed accommodation maps that show which units have the best views and features or which are the closest to the different amenities, plus information about what to expect inside the accommodation, prices and much more. Not sure what to pack and take with you on your Kruger Safari? Well, I have an ever-evolving list that I've been using for more than 50 years, which I'd love to share with you. So while visiting restcamps or thekrugerpark.com, also see how you can download a free copy of my five-page packing list and tips to make sure that nothing is forgotten at home. And you can also visit my bushveldstore.com to make sure that you'll have everything that you need to make your Kruger Safari just perfect while at the same time supporting my Kruger Kids project to give orphan kids the gift of a Kruger Safari. And please join me on our Facebook group, 
where you can talk to other Kruger lovers, ask questions and get news. Now as my thank you to you for watching to the end of this video, please go to restcampsofthekrugerpark.com and download your free ebook copy of Volume 1, titled The Lower South 3, which I hope will help to make your next trip to the Kruger as wonderful as all of mine have been. Thank you and enjoy. This brings me to the end of my video about Punda Maria Rest Camp. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up below as that improves its Google ranking and thereby indirectly supports my Kruger Kids project. Thank you for watching, enjoy the book and your trip to the Kruger.